I never have done this before, especially not on YouTube. Today, you're gonna learn salsa from the very beginning until almost the end. Welcome to my salsa home today with Rita Andrade and Daniel Roses. And today you're gonna learn salsa from the zero level until, until you can make a show, you know? <laughs> until we're gonna cover the basic fundamentals. Super important. Then we will go to the turns, left one and right turn for the follower and the leader. Exactly. We are going to show you the handholds and how to lead and follow in partnering. And at the end, we will show you cross body lead, the step mm. that gives the name to this style. So cross body watch style. until the end, it will be important. And what's that for? But you will have to watch it to understand. This is a, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So guys, and now let's start with a simple basic step moving forward and backward. It's really easy, it's like walking. Let's go, we turn around so we can see our beautiful body. And we start forward with our left together, which is one, replace two and three. <sighs> that was the half basic. Now we are in this position and now we go back with our five. Five, replace six and seven. Okay, we do it one more time. I'm gonna show it from the side. Five, six, seven, one, replace two, three, and five, six, and seven, repeat. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, one more time. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Beautiful. Make sure when you dance, you are cooking, you know? So we want to have our arms and our posture a little bit more up, yeah? And then it looks even better, you know? Because we don't want to look like this. Doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't look good, okay? <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? So. Not sexy. And Rita has a beautiful idea for the ones who don't understand what I mean. Okay, from here. Okay, so this is our home or our safe space. And we get inside the home. And the game here is that we are only allowed to get out of home with just one of our feet, okay? Or one leg. So we start with our left leg and we go front. We go outside where you have to maintain the other one. This is the game, remember? Everything is lava. Yeah, everything is lava. So we need to go back and then we are safe again. And then we try with the other leg to see if it's safer. We go back <gasps> no we have to come back to our safe place and we are again safe let's turn around and let's practice this with the ring the lot of ring <laughs> <laughs> five six seven and left right left right left right R left right left and right left right seven. Now you will say, uh, why do you count so strange? One, two, three, what about the four and the eight? That's true. This good are, question. Uh, yeah, that's what a question. about the four I, and I the never eight? thought about it. I never thought about the it. The thing is, we are salsa dancers, and salsa dancers are not that good in math. That's the thing, you know, like we are not really good in countings, right? Yes, maybe. <laughs> I'm joking. So, He's not, but I am. No. I'm joking. So the thing is, we are, are the salsa is in four, four beat. And on the four and the eight, it's our pauses. So that's the reason we are not counting the four and the eight. Really simple, okay? So we pause on our four and our eight, okay? And we just count the steps we're doing. That's it. We can stay here because now she can do the same step with the second fundamental step, which is the side step. The same, the same structure. Yeah, so we are in our house. We go outside, remember the game. We always have to maintain one of our feet in the house. So we go with the left on our left side. We come back and we come back with the left one. And then we go again with the right one. Right goes out, then on safe place, and then we come back. 
So this with counting goes one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Ooh. <laughs> sorry, I have no Just to the game. Okay. Basic fundamental number three is the back step. So we start with the left, again, always with the left, and go back. One, replace, two, and the same thing applies to the right, five, six, and seven. One more time. One, two, three, we come back, always in the middle, yeah? One, two, three, and five, six, and seven. Yes. What we can say about the last one? We are always in our safe place. This is the like, okay, we are always safe. This means that we're going to step with the same rhythm. One, two, three, four is a pause. Five, six, seven, eight is a pause. But we are always inside. So we just step left, right, left, and right, left, right. And one, two, three, pause, five, six, seven, pause. Perfect. Always That's safe. It. Okay, let's do it without the ring. Ta -da. <laughs> and let's make it all together. I'm gonna count. We do the basic step, five forward and back, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, last time, and one, two, three, and the side step go. One, two, three, Five, six, seven, one, two, three, last time, six, seven, one, two, three, and the back step go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, last time, six, seven, one, two, three, and on place. One, two, three, five, six, seven, let's turn a little bit to you guys. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Nice. What the hell? Fundamentals are on. Let's do this all together with the music. Music. Okay. Easy to understand. And now, before we continue, I don't want you to make these three common mistakes. Don't do that. Mistake number one is moving your hips intentionally. Doesn't matter if you're a leader or follower, don't do this. This is, looks like Jim Carrey, you know? Don't do this, okay? We don't move our hips intentionally. Try to move natural, just as you walk. Just walk, okay? Make your salsa like a step. You walk naturally, okay? Second mistake, guys, is raising up your feet too high. So we don't want to do this, you know, like all the time. That's people do, <laughs> really. And third tip is we are dancing with our body, not with our legs. So what we don't want is doing this. Okay, we don't do this. So this is when we are dancing our legs instead of our body, okay? So we are going, walking, okay? It's like walking. When you want to walk, you don't walk by your feet. You always have the intention from your body to go and then your feet follows. Exactly. So guys, if there is someone in the park, you know, he is not a salsero. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to the turns. <laughs> Everyone that saw salsa knows there's some turns around, okay? So, we will start with a single right turn, okay? So what we will do, we are in the basic step, front and uh, forward and back, and we do one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now we're going to start turning, we go front, one, we turn two, to you, now three, 
and we finish the basic five, six, seven. One more time, we go front, we go back, and we step three, and five, six, seven. So as you see, we turn on one, two, three, and then on five, six, seven, it's just half basic that we're going back. Just that. So now let's do the left turn, which is technically easier, but a bit, little bit harder to understand, okay? So what we do, we step forward, one, replace two, and three to you guys, to the camera, and on five, we go back to our center, six, and seven. One more time, really slow, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, and seven, all right? So guys, a common mistake is what we used to do is we do our one and then we go with a two in front. That's wrong, okay? So really important is to understand when we are going forward, we go forward as we would go into the fridge and grab a beer, we place two and then on three. What? What happened? You, you need to make the left turns otherwise. This is a point Amigo. difference. <laughs> So if you turn, make it a left turn, you get always a beer, you know, it's good. <laughs> this was, uh, okay, I just, uh, no. This happens in salsa. This happens. Okay, you always will remind the left turn, <laughs> at least the beer. So let's do it again. Five, six, seven, very slowly. One, replace two, three, and on five, let's go home. Six and seven, and then basic, yeah? Let's do it one more time. Five, six, left turn, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, basic. Let's do the right turn and flow. Five, six, seven, and one, one, two, and three. Five, six, seven, basic. And let's do it again. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, and seven. You see the difference with the right turn? We need a little bit more power, I would say. A little bit more. With the left turn, it's just walk. You know, so technically it's easier for me, but it's harder to explain. But with the beer, no. Just two tips for the turns, yeah? First, you need to have your chorus always tight, yes? That's why you need to be strong. Then the second thing is that you always want to look where you want to finish, yeah? So if I want to finish there, I will always turn and try to look where I want to finish. Normally, it's to my partner, but it could be to someone else. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now let's start dancing with our partners. There are a few rules you know you need to understand. Yeah, it's like driving a car, it's not easy, you know? So it's communication and let's start. We have two positions. We have the closed position and we have the open position. There are many positions, but these are the classic ones, okay? So I'm gonna place my right arm beneath her shoulder plate, beautiful. And we take our pistol out of our pants, like and this. we just have a hook and we just la leave our hand really nicely here. Beautiful. So about the other arm, what we do followers, we have to put our elbow in the leader's elbow, like this, and there's no space between our arms. No gap. It's like a magnet. We want to be together all the time. Our hand is not important, so be careful to not be in strange positions, yeah? Just be relaxed, like this. The important part are the arms. And, you know, don't, please don't put weight on it. That would be good, you know? Yes, we always have to match the energy of our leader. So if the leader is putting a, some energy up, I'm putting some energy down, but it's just to make the balance, to be balanced. It's really like a magnet, just together, not too much, not too less that they don't feel us. All right. We come into our pistol position here. <laughs> I do this on purpose. We don't use our thumb at all okay so that's the reason I raise it up if you see me dancing I usually 
just put it in here, but I don't use it at all. So the only contact I have is through the hook here. You see here? Let's go a little bit so you can see it like the hook here. That's the way. So when I lead her, I lead her through her palm. And that's already like, if you do it like this, she gonna, yeah? She but gonna to be able it. to do that, I need to maintain this posi position of my head, yes? It's like if I was like driving a motorcycle. I want to do this and not this. Because like this, exactly. if he leads me, yeah. I will lose contact, yeah? So I need to be in the position of riding a motorcycle. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. So motorcycle yeah. and uh, a cowboy. It's good. <laughs> All right. Now, there's something followers she gonna tell you, which is important, right? Because if I would do now the first step in front and Rita the same, <laughs> we will. <laughs> Okay. She would go, yeah, makes uh, no sense. So? So now followers, to be able to dance with my partner and don't step on his feet, I need to change my basic step and do it backwise. So I do back first and then I go front. It's the same, but I'm just doing in a different order. Exactly. Five, six, seven. One is right going back and five is the left going front. So, as a leader, how do I turn the engine here? Yeah? There's one thing. This here is the mirror, okay? This is her dance space, this is my dance space. You know Patrick Swayze, right? So, but it's the same thing. So, if I move forward, I don't press into her. So it's really important for the followers that here, that yes. this doesn't exist and this doesn't exist. So she needs to be a little bit like, here, like this, you know, so like that. This is the mirror, okay? So I don't enter her dance space, she doesn't enter mine, okay? Really we are important. always trying to match the same tension. If the leader does some tension, I do some tension back, yeah? So the only thing now to create the basic step forward and back is moving forward, since I'm moving forward here, you see? One, she's gonna feel it immediately. You don't need to push nothing, just one. Two. Easy, easy, so easy. Okay, so the lead here comes a little bit just from here, but I'm not leading in purpose. I'm just, it's my frame. So I'm not moving my hand. Okay, I'm not moving my hand. Nothing. And I'm responsible for maintaining my frame. Yeah, I'm here. I don't allow him to go into my space. Of course not. So the same happens to the left. When I go into the left, here, she got a little, little input, really, with my palm. I don't grab her here, it's here. So I do it here with my palm. Same thing, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. And without saying anything, now I'm dancing on my spot, you see, on place. And since we are in the frame, I don't need to do a lot, you know, that's easy. So already here, you already are able to dance like a fucking sub hero. <laughs> no. You're saying fucking? Beep! All right, so if you hate each other, then we go from here into our open position, okay? Here's the same. But yeah. I have two pistols. Two pistols. And we are really in a motorcycle with both hands. So we are. We're gonna drive now. So, here the same thing. I don't wanna do this. <laughs> yeah, there is no, it's, it runs automatic. So I could just go forward and she goes forward. Look at this. So easy. I didn't understand. It's so easy, Salsa. So the same thing when I go left, she's gonna feel it as well. This move I would recommend to do in a closed position for sure, but still we are in the same frame and we feel each other's. I can feel her body through her hand. That's crazy, but it is true, okay? So what we don't want is to look like a T-Rex. Yeah, that's, I see so many times that guys like this. No. So we don't lead like that. So just to make sure, if you're like in this close position, then I go like this, okay? So we have two pistols here, okay? And the same way we can lead going forward, boop, there is not too much contact, easy going. 
Okay? And That's try it. try to have your hands always more or less in the belly button of the follower. Yeah? It doesn't have to be too high and too low. So think about the T-Rex and guys, since we are talking about cowboys and pistols, please don't do this, yeah, as it would be like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah? We don't do that with our arms, okay? Please. Everything what you do with your arms is an impulse for her. Imagine what happens in her head. It's like, uh, it's like you were trying to say so many things at the same time yeah. that I cannot understand. It's so like you screaming. Need to be clear and precise in what you want to say. So one thing that we don't want as followers is to have spaghetti arms. Yeah, this we don't want. <laughs> so we want to maintain our frame and always have this little tension. It's not being like super tense. We are relaxed, but we don't let our arms to go spaghetti like. Yeah. Also, we want you again to have like, we don't know which, what is the step that the leader is going to do. So I'm just waiting. I have some tension and then when he starts leading, I just follow. Yeah, that's why he's leading and I'm following. I'm always answering to a question. He does a question, I answer. One question I just got from the audience. <laughs> <laughs> when do I lead her? When is it? It's a good question, thank you. So we don't lead at one, because at one we need to be here, right? So we are leading in the seven or like one beat before, let's say. Okay, so eight on one. So it's eight on one, two, three, five, six, seven. Eight on one, two, three, five, six, seven. Eight on one, two, three, five, six, seven. Eight on one. So I just want to make it clear that I'm not pulling, uh, pushing her, but I'm like eight on one then it's, I need to make a decision, okay? So it's eight on one, two, three, and sidestep. Eight on one, two, three, place on place. One, two, There's three. There's like a different intention or like a breathing that the leader does and that makes me have a tension that something is changing. <gasps> something is changing on eight and... <sighs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so. All right, so this is to answer the question, Take eight on English. one, like one beat before, let's say, okay? If you need more time, of course, then you start with the seven. Let's try to do this now with music. How to lead the right turn. We are connecting. Now it's getting like more complicated, but still easy. Let's go. You wanna you wanna make it. So pistol grid here. And now we going to give her a preparation with start on one. We do one, two, and three. We always lead with palm to palm. And remember, this here is the mirror. So okay, this is the mirror. So we are give no pressure. So one more time, I just show it from this side. So you see my pistol grid and then one, two and three. As you know, we have done the right turn already. We turn on five. So Rita is turning five, six and seven and everything with no pressure, no thumbs, easy. That's it. So just one, two, three. Make sure guys, if you don't do the preparation, that at least on three, the hands are up. And then she gonna understand you gonna turn. But give her a preparation if you both are beginner, okay? We start counting, five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. While she's turning, I'm doing, continue my basic step. Let's do it one more time. Five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three. 
five, six, seven, one, two, and three, and five, six, and seven. Make sure that, don't, that you don't stay uh, on the spot and not moving your, your legs. In the beginning, I know it's hard to understand, okay, this is my arms, this is my leg, totally understand, but here we are on YouTube, you can do it at home, when you're naked, nobody's watching you. So just try it, just do it, okay? So followers, for us, this arm is super important. So we need to maintain our arm in this position. Our elbow is down. It's like gravity is putting him down, so we just put it down, yeah? It's like if we were in a car or in a bus, yeah? We want to be stable like this. If we were like this, this is unstable and we probably will fall. <laughs> so it's not strength, it's just our shoulder and our shoulder blade, blade that is what like in a nice position back and we just maintain. And if you see, it's always in front of my face. So I'm here, one, two, three, five, six, seven. I maintain it here. The bad example will be one, two, three, and then I'm here, five, six, seven. Yeah, I open too much, I could hurt myself, it's not good. Also leaders, be careful that when you put your hand in this position, it should be near my forehead. It's, it's more or less in this height. So you always have to adapt with the follower you're dancing to. If it's super high, you have to put it a little bit higher. If it's small like me, you need to put it small. Let's do the left turn. So, the left turn. For left turn, we need to make a back step, or that's what I used to do, a back step. Tension comes up on three, she gives me her hand, and we lead her in a beautiful left turn, okay? Leaders, important, we are doing a back step. Therefore, one, two, three. We connect. Five, six, and seven, and this is normal left turn, yeah? So back step, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, one more. Try back step, one, two, three. Tension. Five, six, seven, and one. React to the tension of the leader, yeah, always. For us again, followers, we need to react to this tension with the same tension, we match it. And we go five, six again, my elbow is down, seven, one, two, three. Simple as that. One more time. And one more time. One, two, three, react, six, elbow down, one, two, three, five. Remember again that we always want to look where we want to finish, which is, in this case, Daniel. In your case, your partner. With music. Let's go. Okay, so with the crossbody lead, this is actually what makes this style being called crossbody lead. That's the style we're dancing. Crossbody right. style. Crossbody style. Yeah. Yeah, we're dancing salsa on one. And this is the style is because of this step. So you have to know this step. Yeah. So there are many styles, just that you know, there's a Cuban style, New York style. There are many styles, but this is the best. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just <laughs> kidding. No, of course not. It's nice to know all of them, and then you mix yeah. it and you just know exactly. it all. Exactly. So, I'm gonna explain the leader's part, and you're gonna explain the follower's part. Yes. So, imagine we are on the road, okay? The road has three lines. We are, most of the time, in the middle. So, when I want her to cross, I don't do this, you know? That's not the way, okay? No. So, what we guys do is, 
driving our car, we go one, two, three. It's free, so we are going to the right. And five, six, and seven. So basically, it's like driving a car. One, two, three, drive back and go in this direction. So that's exactly the same, yeah? So if I'm here, I go one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. So in detail means I go my one in front, one, replace, two, and on three, I'm here, she's passing, and on five, I go back, six on the way to her, maintain that we have the same distance, and then I'm on one. That's all. That's, that's it. Yeah? Doesn't matter which, which road you are, it's always a middle, and we have two, okay? Just like an example, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. That's it. So, for us, the leaders have these three lines in the road, but we are always going in the same line, in the middle line. This is why it's called a line style, yes? So, you, you leader, have to be aware that the follower needs to be always on the same line, yeah? So that's why you go outside of the, our line, we pass to the other side, and then you come back to our line, yes? So what we do, we just, we want to maintain connection with, with the leader. So we don't like, don't, we don't stop looking at the leader. We just go our basic back. We see that the leader gave us space to pass to the other side. I look at him and he's like, thank you, I can pass now. So I can pass five, six, seven, and he comes back to, the, to my line, yeah? Just this. Again, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, yeah? Try it at home without any hands, okay? Because this already is the leading. Leading starts like that. We don't need hands. Yeah, um, for us as followers, if the leader goes out of our, our line, we already know we're probably going to go to the other side. To the other side. To the other side. <laughs> okay. All right, how does it look if we would dance in a closed position then as i as i told you we are as we told you here we are connected like that so and we are connected with the pistol grid so how do we lead the crossbar lead in that uh, position so we go one two three and five six seven there is nothing i do actually here because we maintain that we have the same frame and that's it what you can do, you can lead her a little bit here with this hand again, but please do me a favor, don't pull her with this hand. So this is out, okay? Don't do anything. What we, that's the most common mistake that the leaders try to pull her into this direction. Makes no sense, okay? So, as I said, we maintain this frame. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Easy, okay? So there is no pressure. The connection comes just from here, okay? I could go with Rita also this way, but this would be a little bit complicated now. Yeah, so for us as followers, we just want to connect and maintain the, this frame. We just maintain it, and if we naturally maintain it, I will just do it naturally. I'm maintaining the frame, I'm having the magnet here, no space, perfect. Okay, one thing that is also important is that I don't pass through, through the leader until five, yeah? What happened is that I go one, two, now he gives me space, and so now I understand I need to pass to the other side, but it's only after I do this. So only on five, I go now five, six, seven because a lot of a lot of the mistakes that the followers do is that they do one two three they already passed the leader but we, he still didn't give me space to pass so i need to wait again i need to know the question and then i answer yes and then you turn a little bit to left right yes and then i turn a little bit just to left. one more time yes yeah, so i do one two three now i know i need to sp i need to pass five six and i turn now to him Yes. <clears throat> so guys, now we are almost at the end. So let's try to bring all together with countings. Let's go. 
We are starting with a closed position. You see me all the time doing this. Sometimes I hold also like that. It's also possible. Okay, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, two, three. We can rotate. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. And we do the basic step. Six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, cross body lead. One, two, three, five, six, seven, basic one, two, three, side step. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, cross body lead. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and right turn. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Right turn, one, two, three, five, six, seven. We go into close position, six, seven. Cross body lead, five, six, seven. Another one, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Basic. Side step and one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and five little dips. Ta da! <laughs> nice. Now with the music? Now with the music together. La he diseñado pensando en ti Está llena de luz y en sus rincones Flores en versos, nace un jardín Para tu corazón escribe esta canción Y quiero que la cantes para mí I just wanted to tell you that uh, mainly for the leaders it's really nice that you know no, you don't have to know a lot of steps to dance well salsa you have to know your fundamentals really good yeah so just train your fundamentals watch this video if you want you can repeat it you can watch it again you can put it slow and then you will be a master and maybe comment the section of what you don't understand just write it down and we are free of course to explain it another time Okay, with music. <laughs> okay, Just now did, they we... see it again and they do it slow and taka taka pata pata pata. What? And we have this beautiful ring. If you want to know more, just watch it till the end. Yes. Not till the end because the ring is in the beginning. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> again. Good that you said it. And we didn't say anything like today you're going to learn something. Yes, exactly. Again. Welcome to... 
Then we will go to the turns, left one and right turn for the follower and the leader. Exactly. What else? Uh, Salcedo says hello is like this. Hola, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and then we go like this. <laughs> anyway, okay. This is for the bloopers. <laughs> <laughs>